Hey guys, the name is Coach Baptiste. Welcome to the Soccer Family Zone. We created this channel again to help you find some value in the information that will be provided to help you navigate the landscape of soccer in America. Our goal is to perhaps provide you some insights and uh, learn from you as well on what not to do so that others can benefit from that because I'm new uh, to the landscape myself as a soccer dad, even though I've been involved in soccer since I was four years old. Recently, my son decided to play competitively and my daughter is still playing recreational. And we found out it's been very tough to make the right choices and right decisions because now you have to focus on your child and picking an environment that will help them develop not only as a soccer player, but as a human being. So again, I do hope you find some value in some of the content that we'll be putting out there through the Soccer Family Zone channel on YouTube. Again, you're watching the Soccer Family Zone with Coach Baptiste. One of the hardest thing to do as a parent is picking an environment for your child. Imagine uh, your kid come to you and tells you, Daddy, I want to play soccer. They've never played a day in their lives. How do you go about figuring out how to help them? Well, one thing that I'll say to you first and foremost is trust yourself. You've been a dad, you've been a mom thus far. Uh, as you know, there is no playbook on how to parent. You are figuring it out as you go sometimes. And the landscape of being a soccer parent is no different. So you have to start with trust. By trusting yourself, what do I mean? Trust that no matter what you do, you're gonna do it with uh, your child's best interest at heart. So your children don't have any greater advocate than you out there. So when they come to you with that in mind, in trusting yourself, you gotta understand, you just gotta spend time with them and figure out exactly why they wanna play soccer, how far they are willing to take it, or serious they are about it and whatnot. But at first, understand that by just being there for them, you're giving them the platform to learn about the game first and foremost. So again, it starts with trusting yourself. Second, you need to understand that your kids just need to play. The club is not what's going to dictate how fast they develop, how they become a, a, a student athlete at the NCAA level or even a professional level. Playing is gonna dictate that. The best teacher of this game of soccer is actually a child kicking a ball. So the strongest advice I can give you the moment that your kid tells you that um, they want to play soccer, take them out to the park, take them out to your backyard with a soccer ball, kick the ball with them, and give them an opportunity to make contact with a soccer ball and start learning how to actually enjoy this game. And number three is very essential as well. Number three again is commit to a plan. If you guys are just beginning and you say to yourselves, okay, we are going to play soccer maybe once a week, commit to that. That one hour a week or that 30 minute session where your child gets to kick the soccer ball is very important in their growth and development, but you have to stay consistent. If it's every Thursday at 4 p.m. for 30 minutes, commit to that. If it's in your backyard, make sure that just like you have a schedule for everything else, you schedule that outing with your child and then they consistently know what to expect. That's how they're gonna grow and develop really, first and foremost. Before you even get to pick a club, before you even get to enjoy travel soccer and all that other stuff, your child needs to play the game of soccer. And playing the game of soccer is probably one of the cheapest sports out there because once you have a soccer ball, that child can enjoy the game. They don't even need a partner uh, so to speak, but as a parent, you want to be there for them to introduce them to the game at first. And you don't need to know the game of soccer to just go out there and kick a soccer ball with your child. So I hope you found some value in this video and you can share the word. All right, as a recap, number one, you need to make sure that you trust yourself. You've been trusting yourself thus far as a parent. Why stop now? Keep trusting yourself to be there for your child. Number two, you have got to make sure that your child is playing. 
they have to enjoy the game. And playing means going in the backyard, going to the park, kicking the ball around with them. If that's all it takes, that is going to be good enough for them to start enjoying the game of soccer and learning about the game of soccer. And number three, commit to a plan. If it's recreational, if it's just for an hour, if it's just for 30 minutes, just commit to that and be consistent in what you do. That way, you can help us grow a soccer community here in America and indeed a soccer family as well. You've been watching the Soccer Family Zone. It's a pleasure and I hope to see you soon. And remember, subscribe and share the word about a Soccer Family Zone channel. Thank you guys.